Transformation Talk Radio. I'm your co-host, Nancy. Uh, we have Benny in the studio. Hey, Benny. Hi, ladies. How are you? Good to see your shining faces. Yes, we oh. wish we could see your shining face. I'm shy. I know. Yeah. Oh, there we go again. And then, of course, we have the the woman of the hour, Mary Jane Mack. For those of you who don't know about Mary Jane, she's a holistic intuitive. She has an office in Isfa, Washington. However, you do not have to live in the state of Washington as we have clients all over the United States and including Europe, the UK, and Spain. Mary Jane does the TAP system, the accelerated performance system, which is a way of muscle testing your body to find out where your deficiencies are, recommends a whole food nutrition product, which gets into the body, repairs it, supports it, and brings it back into balance. And yes, this does take some time. Not an instant quick fix. Think about how long your body's been out of balance. So you may need a couple of weeks or a month or so to get everything working and and back in the balance. So today we are putting ourselves first. Um, we're trying to think of a topic and I think everybody doesn't put their self first. And if you don't put yourself first, how can you be a provider for those around you, your loved ones, your children, your pets, whoever that may be. So with that, mom, would you like to take it away? Well, thank you, Nancy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You know, I, I just got back from Orlando. I was at a master circle meeting and a winter circle. I'm a member, member of the winter circle. And what is the winter circle? You keep telling people that, but people don't know what a winter circle is or the master circle. Okay, the master circle is a chiropractic uh, management group. It, it's to help chiropractors be the best they could be in their practice, to help yeah. others and to teach them about the latest technology they work with the, the top-notch guys in the field who have, who have like state-of-the-art equipment and who have amazing results taking care of the most difficult people out there. I, I work with uh, chiropractors who are um, taking care of people who are in severe pain, who can't walk, who can't do anything, they can't leave their house, they're suicidal. And in five months, they can get them out of that terrible crisis and back into society again. And of course, it continues. It's not just five months and they're better, but they're dramatically better. And then from that, they continue to improve and get better. And people come to her from uh, it's Katinka in Arkansas, and she sees people up from all over the world. They come. And then there's Dr. Kyle Daigle. He's in New Orleans, not New Orleans. He's in, he's in Louisiana. And he sees people from all over the world and the most difficult cases with amazing results with the technology and the work that they do. And what I really love about all these people is they, there is no ego. They give the credit to God and they work for him and and that's why they're so blessed to be able to help so many people. So that, that to me says a lot. All right. So I just want to say, we all know Mary Jane is not a chiropractor, but she is the only chiropractor. She is the only non-chiropractor who has actually been invited to join the master circle. She was in the master circle for a year. And then she was asked to be a member of the winner's circle. So that's pretty impressive as well. Yeah, so the, winner's, the winner's circle is invitation only. And it's a small group. There's, oh, there's about 20 people in there. And again, I'm the only non-chiropractor. And then last year in November, I received an award at the master circle uh, for citizen of the year and um, for a, a leadership award. So that, and Nancy was able to be there at that meeting in Orlando uh, when I received that award. And it, it was a total surprise to me when they called out my name. And so it was pretty exciting. It was very special. I was actually there to surprise her. So she didn't know I was coming. Unfortunately, the hotel was super small. So I was holed up in my hotel room for two days or a day, day and a half. <laughs> But it was a special event and it was very impressive. And I'm, I was glad I was able to be there to share that moment with um, my mom. So, but it's, the winner's circle also is that's your coach. Everybody has to have a coach. 
Mary Jane is a coach to all of her clients. So Mary Jane has a coach, and I think we've had Mary Jane's coach on the radio show before, and that's Dr. Bob Hoffman. So everybody needs a little help to put themselves first in order to do what we all do, which is take care of people, take care of each other, our family. You know, for me, I take care of our clients the best I can. Um, take care of my family, my mom, my dad, my dog, my niece. So if we're not um, taking care of ourselves, there's going to be a problem because eventually we could start to break down, get sick, things can go wrong. And then who's going to take care of all of our loved ones? Nobody. Well, and, and the other thing is by having a coach, I talk to my coach every Monday morning. Uh, it, it's like resetting you. It's re-energizing you. It's keeping you on track. It's reminding me where you're, where you're going. And it's like I do with my clients. It's like they're, they're so busy and there's so much stress today and fear, tons of fear. So it's about keeping people on track so they're not off worrying about crazy things instead of focusing on what you want, where you're going, your family, and what's best for you. So a coach, I call myself a chief wellness officer. And my job is not only to help you with nutritionally with your body, but I also do the neuroemotional technique. I do cranial release technique. I do uh, work with the Resumex and the brain tap and we have light technology. So we have lots of tools in our box to be able to look at you from different directions and see what your body may need. It's never one size fits all. Everybody's different. Yes. And what I, what I love is uh, what we're gonna talk a little more about today is emotions and how they affect the body. I've had several calls about little, like two, three-year-olds and also eight, nine-year-old kids and they, they're angry and they have all kinds of issues and you can do the nutrition on them, but it comes from an emotional component. The parents will say, well, well how, how do they get like this? Well, the, this eight-year-old boy, well, I said, well, when I muscle tested, found that the, when the baby was born, it, it was a very traumatic birth. So I asked the mom, how was your delivery? But she said, it was awful, it was terrible. Um, she had all these complications. She couldn't see the baby right away. So you have every memory from the time you're conceived. And so even interutero, for example, if parents, if somebody's pregnant and they don't want that baby, the baby picks up on that emotion. Or if the mother's worried all the time or stressed, baby picks up on that. So you have to look back when kids have issues where does that come from and uh and so once you can identify it then you once you release the emotion then they can get better for example some a cup another little one that's three uh i worked on he's out of state so i had the his chiropractor work on him and uh, do light technology and do some things and he still, and he got better. And then he started having an issue again. And that issue still went back to the same thing, the bile duct, which is anger. And the, didn't sleep at night, just fought sleep, was uh, angry all the time. And so now we worked on that, uh, releasing the emotion through the mom. And again, this was another traumatic birth. So releasing the emotion. And, and so if, so the body, so this little one could start to heal and not be all uh, inside if the nervous system was over the top. And that's, that's why you release the emotion, you release the stress, and then you could do other things like the Resumex to fine tune the body and get the body in balance. Exactly. All right, time for us to take a short break. You're listening to the Mary Jane Map Show on Transformation Talk Radio. We'll catch you on the other side. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back to the Major Maxwell and Transformation Health Radio. I'm your co-host, Nancy. We have Benny in the studio. 
And then we have the lady of the hour, Mary Jane Mack herself. <laughs> and uh, at break, we were, we were talking um, about lately, I've got a barrage of appointments for Mary Jane helped some of her master circle people sell their houses. They weren't selling. And uh, so they called and had appointments with her about, you know, what they needed to do, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, everybody's house started selling right away. And then we got a barrage of appointments for new houses. So if you have a question, it could be any question at all. It could be a question, a personal question, it could be a career question, house question. I say take advantage. But I would like to say we have a lovely new client yesterday. I loved her to death. She only wanted to come in to get a CRT, a cranial release technique. She was um, just a joy. And she, and she came her, a long way. She came a long she way. Came from Fort Townsend to, to come and just get a CRT. She was delightful, delightful. And she also got checked for nutrition and she also got the NET done. And by the time she left, she was just blown away. So I loved her. Anna, if you're listening, thank you so much. It was just a pleasure meeting you yesterday. You're just, a, you have a lovely spirit. So, but it, it's about, you know, the CRT, how important is that for your health too? And we, Mary Jane's talked about that, getting your cranial bones unlocked so that everything can flow and, and that's part of health too, along with the emotions. And we were talking about the emotions and how we're all born with our parents' new nutritional deficiencies and our parents' emotions that they put on us when we're in utero. So luckily, I think I came out okay. <laughs> well, the, and even yesterday, and, and, and why we're talking about the emotions, because I've had so many people lately, and so many young people, uh, teenagers, who have some serious health issues and who have done it all and been everywhere and not going to an answer and uh, feeling can't eat young gal she can't eat um she's she, she's been like that a long time so when she came in i mean the other thing is i i follow the body when i do the muscle testing and i do exactly what your body tells me at that time so sometimes the main issue doesn't usually shows up the first time but there are times when have to do a few other things before that deep deeper issue shows up so when she came in before, um, she still was, she only had a few visits, but she was still struggling, not feeling good. And then she came in yesterday and we did some more work on her and uh, the body work and, and also the um, checked, tapped into her emotions. And that's how we uh, found there was some things. Her birth was very difficult also. So it's like going back because the mom, couldn't understand, well, how do they get like this? You know, people think when babies are born, they're just always perfect. And that's not true. <clears throat> babies go through the birth canal, their cranial bones can get jammed, and then uh, they need to be released. And that's why chiropractors, they're usually right there in the delivery room, and they're adjusting those babies as soon as they're born. So, you know, babies need might need to be adjusted. So then you prevent chronic illnesses and conditions that they have. And when babies are adjusted, it's very gentle. So, I mean, it's very simple and easy to do. So, but I, it, it's about going on and getting all these diagnoses, all these uh, medical feedback. And I mean, people put labels on you. They, they don't know what it is. So they make up something. I mean, it's like, and then, then people say, oh, I know of several other people that had that diagnosis. Well, where does it come from? They don't know what else to call it. So they make up something and put it in a category. And it's like, sometimes it's crazy. It really is. Well, you, then you live with that label instead of, instead of, you know, now you've got that label. Some people, unfortunately, are proud of their label, but there is an answer. There is, you know, 
you, some people think they're actually crazy, but you're not crazy. You just haven't gotten the answer. And what Mary Jane does is she's able to tap into the body to find the answer. It was like Anna yesterday when she left. She said, oh, my God, you must be so, you're so lucky to have your mom. I said, well, it's a gift and a curse. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. It is a blessing. But at the same time, you know, people hold on to these labels and you don't have to be, have that label. There are answers. And like I said earlier, the, the person Mary Jane was talking about, she was ready to quit after a couple of weeks. And, and I had sent an email um, encouraging her to do whatever, you know, we support you, whatever you want to do. I said, but it took 18 years to get there. So it's going to take more than two weeks to get you out of that crisis. Because again, your body only shows the number one thing that needs to be taken care of first. If you don't take care of things in order, you're never going to get better. It's you don't just, have the same results. You have to, and, and what I do is not, it's not about getting you out of the crisis and a quick fix. Sometimes I'm, e it's easy for me to say, oh, this is not complicated to somebody. And that may be to them misleading in a way because they've heard so many negative responses that it's really hard for them to believe that this could be not that complicated after how complicated their lives have been for such a long time. And, and at the same time, I know, I, have, I have always have this knowing that when I do the testing, and remember, I work for the man above, so he works through me. So when I'm testing, I am always confident and I have clarity and certainty. What I get is right on. I never, never doubt myself, never. I take it and that's what it is. And we go with it. And if sometimes there's little ripples, so things will come up and I'll think, well, isn't that interesting? But it's like, there's always, a, could be a little blip in the road, but that you just got to keep going and get through it. What I like to say, you, what you do is you kind of offer people a lifestyle change. Instead of, there's a lot of people who will go out to the health food stores and grab this, grab that, hear about a new product, try a new thing. But you actually give everybody's body what they need. So you don't have to be out grabbing random products at different stores. So you, you end up saving people money and you end up giving people exactly what they need for their body like what I need is not what you need so it's what she offers is a very special service and she's the only one really in the United States that does this and and she's a gift and when you hear her master circle people talk about her because I've gotten some text messages from them there, I mean, it's truly mind boggling what she can do and how she's honed her gift in. So I always say, take advantage. So if you do have a question, Paul, take advantage. While you I, I love what I do. And it's, again, I, it's not, all I do is follow the body. I, I'm following your energy. It's not nothing to do with me. It's all about your energy. And we, it's about you getting your energy on track in the right direction so you could stand in your power. It's like, you think about it, when your energy is down and you're not feeling great, think about you as being kind of curled up in a ball, no energy. Well, when you have no energy, that's when the world kind of tramples over you and people take advantage of you. And you're not really looked at as, as anybody in particular, you're kind of like looked through. It's like when people are like that, I have horses. If, if I was like that, my horses would run over me. There would be no doubt. So you have to stand tall, look, get healthy, be healthy, and you have, you have to eat right. You have to exercise. You have to do the right nutrition. You have to have brain fitness. There, there's things that you have to do in order to be on that path. But once you're on that path, then the world is yours. Then you will draw it to you. Then you change your energy and you, you could stand tall. And what I tell people is expand your energy. It's like 
like feel your energy actually pushing out away so that when you walk in a room, everybody knows it's a positive. When you, you know, some people walk in the room and, and the lights go out and, and uh, they're not very good. So, uh, the, and as soon as they leave, the lights come back on. So it's like throwing the stone into a lake, the ripple effect. So that's what you want to see when you walk into a room. You want the ripple effect to be positive, energized. It's like we had a client. And I said, so, you know, what are your plans for the weekend? I've got this confirmation I have to go to. There's exes going to be involved and blah, blah, blah. And I said, you just walk in that room like you own it, girlfriend. I said, stand tall, stand proud, and don't let people push you around. I mean, that's, there's so many people who are afraid, but if you stand tall, have fun, show up make an impact but Thank if you're a victim if you're a victim that's the results you're going to get so you've just got to, and it's it's like it's like you just got to you got to step from this circle to that circle and just feel that energy fill you up and it'll it changes your life it does and, you, and hey if you if you're having a hard time do it become an actress <laughs> or an actor step into a role and and you know, rattle the, everybody's cages in a positive way, you know, instead of going, make oh, it, look, yeah, make, make it, it a game, make, make it a game, and make it fun, but, you know, don't let people walk all over you and push you around when you have to go to certain events where there are difficult people that you're really don't want to spend time with. <laughs> well, and the other thing is be better than them and have that energy, like, hi, how are you, you know, talk to the people you want to talk to. But use energy to change people. Because when people see that energy, they don't know what to do. If you are you don't have it, you know, they're going to push you aside. So, again, it's like, have fun. Life is too short to, to go somewhere if, or else don't go. But if you go somewhere and you feel worse than when you, before you went, then that's not a good thing. Well, the other thing is, is, you can't let people allow how you feel. I don't, I, I don't think I said it the right way, but you don't take on other people's crap or negative comments or, or things about yourself. Don't, don't draw that to you. Be, I think everybody has the ability to stand up, stand proud, have fun, be kind, be compassionate, and have big energy. And then, like Mary Jane said, all those good things are just drawn to you. Then you draw the people you want to you. You draw, you know, maybe the house to you, better job, more money. So be big, be happy, and have fun. If it is to be, it's up to you. And it's like everything that happens is what you create. You create your own reality. And, and if you, it's time to spend more energy on making you. that reality exactly what you want. Because it's all about certainty and clarity. And the more you have that, you draw it to you. If you're always thinking about the negative, that's what you're going to get. So think about what there is in your life. And think about, okay, I need to do some motivational listening, listen to Wayne Dyer, do some uh, positive music, something that's uplifting, and then write a list of what you want in your life. What gives you joy? If you don't know what you want, then you write, what does that feel like? What would it feel like to be in the best job ever? Like happy, successful, abundance, Never put a dollar amount on it because that's what you'll get. You want to think big and draw that to you. All right. I want you all to think about that. You are listening to the Mary Jane Mapp Show on Transformation Talk Radio. Time for us to take a short break. We'll catch you on the other side. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back to the Mary Jane Mapp Show on Transformation Talk Radio. We are talking about putting yourself first today. And along with putting yourself first, we're also talking about emotions. We've had a lot of clients this week who have had some uh, emotions pop up. So Mary Jane has been doing the NET, the neuroemotional technique, and we've talked about that numerous times. 
It's about identifying the emotion. And once you identify it, then it can be released from the body. Otherwise, if you just hold on to it, then it creates chaos in the body, as I like to say. So it could be your gallbladder, it could be a train wreck, your bile ducts, then you get angry, ticked off, resentful. Um, I talked to some of my clients yesterday and they said, yeah, I don't get it. And my gallbladder, I know it's resentment. I'm not sure what I'm resentful about. Or they say, there's so much to be resentful about these days. <laughs> it's about... It's about Mary Jane saying before we went to break about expanding and, and if you don't know what you want, right? How does it feel? How would it feel to be in a good job? Um, I've been doing every night, writing at least three things I'm grateful for. And they have to be different. I can't keep doing the same one. So when you think about it, there's a lot to be grateful for. Um, I'm an avid brain tapper. And, and I know on one of the meditations I listen to, it's like, be grateful for your heart beating. You know, be grateful that you're able to breathe. Be grateful for the smaller things. It doesn't have to be huge. Be grateful that somebody actually let you in traffic wise. I mean, showing gratitude also changes how you feel about yourself and can change the world. Well, there's a, uh, with Resumex, it's the same thing. When you're using the Resumex, which is a vibrational technology that works on your nervous system, like the brain tap, to uh, balance the vagus nerve, the parasympathetic and the sympathetic and the hormonal uh, nervous system. And so in with that technique, Sherrick has, uh, he brings in, as you're working with it, has, he'll have people, and as I do now, Think of what you're grateful for and they get better much faster. And now Sherrick has developed or introduced a technique, an emotional technique using the, re, uh, it's not using the Resumex, but a, te a technique using um, the stretch band and putting yourself in a position. Yes, you use the Resumex on the weaker side, the less dominant side of the body. And there's certain position you go in and it's like incredible for releasing old trauma. So if you've had a trauma that just, that could be a death in the family, it could be an accident, it could be anything that's really, uh, really, you know, overwhelming. So when you do this technique, it's pretty amazing. We, at the, at the seminar this weekend, he did it on several people. And I've seen it done before. Um, it, you, you, you repeat the technique several times. And each time you do it, each step you do it, it changes the energy of it. You can score it from zero to 10 when you start. And like some people will have like back injuries or back aches, other things that interfere with them getting well because of the emotion. So there's NET, and now with uh, this technique that Sherrick does, it's great for releasing those deep trauma emotions. And it always ends with a session of what are you grateful for? And when you end with the session, what are you grateful for? It just boosts the whole uh, process and changes everything. It's pretty pretty amazing. It's powerful stuff. I think it's very powerful. I think there's so many of us, we don't think about what we're grateful for. There's so much anger in the world. There's so much fear, fear, fear in the world. There's so much uncertainty that there's so, let me just say this. There's way too much negativity and not enough positivity. Well, you know, when you, when you, when you see people driving in their car with their windows rolled up, I mean, I'm just saying it doesn't matter whether they're up or down, but their windows are up so nothing can get in and they're wearing a mask, that's fear. What are they so afraid of that they can't be alone in a closed area and not have a mask on? So it's like there's more to just trying, you know, people can wear a mask. I'm not against that wherever they are, if they're in crowds. But when you're alone and you have to wear a mask, that's an issue. 
Well, I see people walking in the streets, you know, there's no one around and wearing a mask and it's kind of like, what do you, what is it that you're so afraid of instead of breathing the clean air, boosting your own immune system and, and just being free? It's like Mary Jane said, what you fear is what you create for yourself. So you whatever you do. think about, you're you're drawing that to you. So wouldn't you rather draw things that you're grateful for to you? Wouldn't you rather think of positive things to draw to you, to you know get your magnet out and start bringing those things in instead of the fear that's that's out there in everyone. And, and the other thing is, you know, there's so much COVID going around now anyway, whether you're vaxxed or not. And the whole idea though is are you healthy? Because if you're healthy, you're, you probably are only going to get a mild case. And even if you're vaxxed, and that doesn't mean that you're healthy, if you haven't taken care of things going on in your life. Uh, for example, if you get, if you get COVID, and you've already got issues, those are the people that are still going to wind up in the hospital, or wind up with lung issues or other things, because they are, al they already had it. And the COVID just pushed them over the edge. The people who are like all of my clients, that those people that got vaccinated, they got COVID, but it was a very mild case. And but they had nutrition support for their immune system before and during. So they they continue to boost themselves and and get through it very quickly. Well, even some of our clients who chose not to get vaccinated had very mild cases of COVID. Yeah, we were already, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Your immune system's already built up. You you don't have a compromised immune system or health issues. So, you know, and then we have a lot of clients who are vaxxed and, and boosted and they all got COVID. And what happened? They got angry. They're very angry because they thought they were protected. Well, you're, you're not 100% protected. You know, we can only do so much, but why did they get COVID? Did they draw it to them because of fear or, or what? You know, nobody wants it, but if you get it, it's not the end of the world. I mean, there are things you can do to, to have mild cases. We have a lot of new clients who have, you know, experienced a lot of health issues after having COVID. So Mary Jane is getting them back on track, getting them, you know, getting their immune system boosted back up. So it's, yeah. yeah. So it, it's, you know, we'll, it's like there's so many people out there that could use our help and get you on track. It, it's like in this world, the stress is so, uh, there's so much stress, chemical, emotional uh, the stress that's out there, environmental, that it just wipes out your brain. You know, you can't, it's very difficult to get above that. And that's why what we do, we're looking at all those different areas of your life and covering that to get you on the path to wellness. And, and it's not, once we get you on the path, it's about how are we going to keep you there? What do you need to do to stay there? It's not a it's not a three month program. This is a lifetime program, and I have clients from started with me in 1992 that are my clients, and during COVID, most of them called every month just to stay on board, and otherwise they're every two or three months, right at regular timing, just to. Uh, just to maintain that and make sure everything's stable. And it's it's great. It's it's wonderful to see once we get you locked in, how you can maintain that. And then if you have an issue, all you have to do is call us and get an appointment. Yeah. And, but at the same time, you have taught people what they may need to do when, you know, if they're on vacation or out of the country or whatever it is, or they're experiencing something, people pay attention to their bodies. It's kind of like, I know when I get super snacky, I know my gallbladder's off because I'm not usually a super snacky person, but my gallbladder's off when I want to eat all day. So then I know, all right, I either ate something or went out to eat, something wasn't good, didn't agree, 
I get on the nutrition, get myself back on track, and let's, well, because I'm pretty healthy. And then a few days, I'm back to normal again. So she's, like she said, the chief wellness officer. She's, you know, there for you to keep you healthy, to keep your, you know, health and immune system balanced and on track. And then she's there if there's an issue. So it's, I don't know. It, I, I am blessed that she is my mom. Although the curse does come when we go out to eat or if I want to buy something, you know, she's always like, well, I want to score it too. And I'll, I'll look at her and say, did I ask? Did I ask you what it scored? Did I ask you what the food scored? No, I did not ask. Sometimes I just want to take a chance and take a leap of faith. Sometimes well, it, the sometimes thing is, it, <laughs> yeah, it's like so much a part of me. I mean, I walk the talk. There is no doubt. I mean, if it doesn't score good and it's not right, I don't do it. I don't do it. I don't eat it. Uh, it's 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 a given. And so I, I can't. I mean, it's just the way oh, I am. You, you can't. If we go to a restaurant and she has a bad experience, that's it. She is, that restaurant is off the list. We're never going back again. It's, I'm thinking, well, maybe they just had a bad day. Nope, I'm not going. It's like, oh, for the love of God, Mary, let's give it a try. But not her, Miss. I have to score it. I'm scoring everything. So I'm not like that. I kind of. I gotta do my takes own a thing chance. Now. She takes a chance. I didn't take a chance. So, like again, sometimes it pays off. Sometimes not so good, but I take a chance. I do. I'm a risk taker, kind of. I'm so anyway, we can do NET over the phone. It doesn't matter where you are. We I can figure out exactly because when I'm checking you, I'm testing you for all those things. I can test. And I even when I get to the point, I feel you need different technology like the Resumex or the Brain Tap. I'm going to recommend that. I'm going to recommend whatever it is you need, no holding back, because that's why people come to me. They want to know what, because if they don't know, how could they change and do anything? Well, and and the beauty about the Resumex is that you can come into the office and get a treatment of, done by Mary Jane, but this is a tool that you should be using every day that can change your life, and it doesn't take a lot of time to, to do it. The body scraping takes, you know, depending on your size, two minutes to 10 minutes. There's seven points you should be doing every day. And, and each point is 30 seconds. You, you hold the resume there. Who doesn't have that time to, to you know, help their body? It, it just makes it even better. So it's kind of like, then you don't have to keep coming in to get the treatment. You're well, actually responsibility for yourself and getting it done and, and the thing is yeah you can keep coming in but the point is how can you get better faster and that's my goal for you it's like when you have these tools at home it's going to make a difference for you every day and the whole family can use them so that's why uh, you know we love when people come in we can work on you but it's like how can you take it further yeah, exactly. Again, the stress, the emotional, the chemical, uh, neurological, the stress on your brain is so out there everywhere with electronics and everything. You need tools and you need to know what you to do to be best. Well, and I know I've talked about my dog Paddington, but he absolutely loves that resume. And it's really helped him calm his nervous system down. He hates loud noises. He's, I don't know, it could be a simple noise, but sometimes it just throws him into a tizzy. So getting the resume out, scraping his body, he loves it. He's snoring within like 30 seconds. And sometimes I'll say, okay, Pad, get up, turn over. We're going to do the other side. And he is up and over before you know it and you cannot carry that around the house you can't carry it because sometimes i'll go and i'll scrape uh mary jane's back you can't carry that around the house because he gets right in between you and mom and he's like it's my turn it's my turn when is it my turn so sometimes when he's laying on the floor i just go ahead and keep it between his legs his front legs and, and let it go but he would rather have you scrape his body. Just, yeah. I mean, who wouldn't? Who wouldn't, right? <laughs> I said, you know, I, she's doing her dog. And I'm thinking, you know, I wouldn't mind a treatment like that. 
So the Resumex is this tool. You can look up Resumex.com and share it back. Uh, we love Sherrick. Sherrick, he's just amazing. But the, the Resumex, there's so many vi videos on YouTube. Same with BrainTap. Tons of videos on YouTube. So the best thing to do is look those things up and see for yourself what they do and how they work. They're both scientifically proven. It's like they're not just a gadget. They're much more than that. Healing devices for the family. It's a nervous system. It calms your nervous system down. When you're working on your nervous system, you're working on your brain. And today, it's all about the brain. You have to take care of the brain. You have to be physically fit and be nutritionally sound. If you have those, then you're on the path to wellness. And then you have the, the emotional technique that, that Sherrick's developed. You have the NET, which Mary Jane does. So it's like, and again, if, if she is doing the NET, and it may be a, a sensitive subject or topic. You don't have to tell her what it is. You just have to think about it. And she's able to muscle test to say, yes, that's it. No, that's not it. So you don't have, to, you yeah, don't have to share your personal yeah. information with her if you don't want to. And it's the same with the techniques you're developed. You don't have to say what it is at all. All you do is think it and your body we're doing this. What you're doing with the Sherrick's technique is you're in a position for your sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system for this, it, what it, it's really fascinating. This information goes in and when you're in a certain position and you're, it's, it has to do with your breathing and the way you're breathing. And then at a certain part, part, it disconnects from that trauma, that emotion from the brain. It's just like, you know, again, these guys are geniuses that I work with. And the things they do are so phenomenal that I am very fortunate to be able to help people and pass this on for, for permanent changes. Like miracle workers. Yeah, they're it, miracles. It, and it I, really is a miracle when you think about it. I love doing my brain tap. And when I do it at night, um, I always have Dr. Porter in my ear as he's doing the meditation. And the best part of the brain tap is... <clears throat> If you had negative experiences or you had negative thoughts during the day, at night while you're sleeping, your brain cancels those out. It's able to cancel those out and replace it with positive. So I, I don't think I would be as good as I am without my brain tap. I, I love my brain tap. And I love the, some of them are just music. And, and those, you know, they have the beats, the tones, the lights, everything that you need to get that brain changed and get those patterns changed, those negative patterns. So, and when we're talking about the nervous system, it's like the sympathetic is when you're in fight or flight, when you're always running. The parasympathetic is the healing part. And then there's the hormonal system. So when you're, uh, that's the cortisol. So when you're in sympathetic overdrive, you're always, your brain can never settle down. You have to have the parasympathetic in balance in order to heal. If you don't have that in balance, you're just spinning your wheels and you're not getting, that's when people come in and they say, how come I keep getting this gallbladder issue? How keep, come I keep getting the same thing? Because their brain pattern is trained that way. And it's trained so well, you keep going back into the same pattern. But with the brain tap and the Resumex, it's changing those brain waves and making a difference. So you change your thinking, but it's because of the different pathways to the brain that are open. Yeah, and when you do it four to six weeks consistently, you have to do it the brain tap two to three times a day and do the Resumex every day, four to six weeks, then your brain starts to take over. Then you could sometimes cut it down to two or to a couple times or two or three times a week. Depends. And it depends on what's going on with you and how bad you are. Sometimes you go longer. And once you get on it, you'll love it. So that's not even this is the most relaxing thing I have ever had. I mean, it's it's one of the most relaxing tools. You you just feel the stress and the tension in your body leave. I mean well, it, yeah, it's and Pat, the strangest thing. Yeah, and Patrick and Michael Porter, they do it two or three times every day. 
And in the brain tap offices, when they have a break, it's a brain tap break. They have lounge chairs and all the employees take a 10 minute brain tap break to rejuvenate their brain. And they're very successful people. Yeah. <laughs> very. Love, 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 love my brain tap. Love, love, love the resume. So anyway, so we, we kind of hit about, so it's about putting yourself first, as Mary Jane said. Go check out resumex.com. It's you can check out Mary Jane's website. We've got the resumex on there. We've got the brain tap. Go to YouTube. Check out Sheriff Peck. There are hundreds of videos for all kinds of different uh, ailments that you may be having. Go to Brain Tap. Go go to YouTube and check out to see what actually the Brain Tap does. It's it's amazing. There's professional sports teams using the Brain Tap. There's, I mean, again, Alzheimer's, it changes all Alzheimer's in six weeks. I mean, you just got to step into it and do it. And some people say, well, I don't have the time. Well, do you want to get well? I do mine first thing in the morning, last thing at night, and I do a 10 minute one somewhere in between. So anyway, it, it's about change, you know, stop, stop procrastinating and take a leap for good health. And it's like giving our office a call to help you get on a get on the right path. I mean, that's what we're we we have so many tools and so much good uh, information here to help you. There isn't anybody that we can't help. So, Nancy, give a call. Give us our uh, if number. If you'd like to make an appointment with Mary Jane, give our office a call at eight eight eight. 777-4232 or you can always email us at info at maryjanemack.com check out the website um again our job here is to make you better um our goal here is to give you the tools so you can be the person you want to be we want you because the more people that we can help then you in turn will go out and help other people and we can change a lot of this negativity that's happening. Um, again, too much negativity. We need more kindness, compassion, and we need to stand in our power and be the people we were meant to be instead of, you know, meek, mild. I want to be, you know, great. I want to be great for my parents. I want to be great for my niece. I just want to be the best I can be for myself personally too. So, well, and the other thing is when you give us a call and you come here, we have information that a lot of people, other people don't have. And we have a lot of contacts to get the answers to those, any really difficult cases to consult on. So we're here for you. We would love to see you. And uh, it's, it is all about gratitude. Gratitude is everything. And that you should be thinking about that every day. Even if you thought of gratitude every day, no matter where you are, it will improve your health and it will make you better. And uh, maybe make a list where you're at today and what can you do? What is it you'd like to do that you can't do? Are there things that you can't play with your kids because you're too tired? You can't golf because your back bothers you. Your, your joints bother you. You can't... Uh, uh, can't so, garden because you're starting. I mean, the what, is it, what is it that you can't play with your kids? What is your health keeping you from doing that would be important to you? So start looking at it that way. How are you limited? And then how can you change that? Exactly. I mean, and it can be done. It, 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 sometimes it may take a little while, but if you get on the path, amazing things will happen miracles say, yeah miracles happen every day every day, every and dreams, day. yeah and dreams really do come true so don't be afraid to to dream it's like we have a sign on the our front door because we started seeing um limited clients in person again and um on the there's a sign that's optional but it says make it an amazing day so try and make your day today and every day an amazing day. Mary Jane, you got a few minutes, a few seconds left. Your message, another one? My message is stop procrastinating. Think about what you want in your life and be clear. Make a list. Where is your life today? 
Where do you want your life to be? That could be at home. It could be in a job. It could be in your profession, thinking of changing your profession, whatever that might be, make those lists. Because if you don't have the list and it's going around in your head, it's not going to happen. It has to be on paper. Then you cross it out and keep refining it so that you're very clear on what you want. So uh, and have gratitude and we love you all and uh, look forward to next time. All right. We'd like to thank everybody for listening. You're listening to the Mary Jane Max Show on Transformation Talk Radio. And I would like to say, I hope everybody thinks of something they're grateful for and make today an amazing day. Thank you all for listening. We'll catch you next month. You've been listening to the Mary Jane Mack Show with holistic, intuitive, wellness expert, Mary Jane Mack. Tune in every month and peel your layers like an onion into the healthier you. Learn with Mary Jane Mack how to achieve wellness rather than curing disease. Mary Jane has a remarkable ability to intuitively identify what's going on in the body, what it needs to be well, and how to make that change. She's also worked with thousands of clients and their pets from across the country with every physical illness imaginable. Make an appointment with her now by visiting MaryJMack.com or call 888-777-4232, 888-777-4232.